Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay. I'm just talking to you guys about the how the primetime Emmys went. It was, eh. I think, because Jimmy uh, Kimmel was, uh, I don't know. I think the jokes were nearly bad. Although he took a shot at the uh, uh, actress Maggie Smith, who just won her uh, Emmy, and I think. He it was something to have to do is she couldn't make it. Um, but, ooh. I think that was not even good. You know, even, um, uh, I saw the tweet from Hot Topic that they, they ended up trying to burn him. <laughs> they give him a burn. <laughs> well, I think it went the little bit, it burned, all of it burned more. <laughs> or whatever you want to say, when um, he lost and Matt Damon makes it more good. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of plenty funny that Matt Damon came, came. But, I don't know. I think, I think for somebody to host the Emmys, they have to be, I don't know, not ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll take any comments of what you guys think. Though there were some things that would definitely not make sense. I was kind of mad and disappointed because uh, the musical Grease Live that aired on Fox back in January, um, a lot of people were not happy. In fact, if you guys can tell if you were watching it, um, not a lot of people were clapping about that, and I guess you can tell they were not happy about it. Uh, what else? Hmm. I, I really enjoyed, uh, Leslie Jones' this, uh, this little skit at, with some of the, with, uh, some of the, um, I guess that was the, the, uh, lawyers who were holding out for the awards. I really enjoyed that. It was pretty funny I, I, how she expressed of it. Even though it was very bad for her to experience so much uh, trolling. I don't mean the... I don't mean it like... I don't mean that she did, she did deserve it, which I know she didn't. And believe me, I heard about this from Philip DeFranco. <laughs> yeah, there's a little shout-out for him. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'll link his YouTube channel in the description. Because after all, I am one of those. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm... Anyway, now besides the primetime Emmys, next month is the streamies and <laughs> I just can't believe I had to talk about that but it's true um the streamies is a uh, awards show that um have people nominated uh you can check them out on twitter I uh the, I, ha I will also include my link to the videos because I mentioned those who have been nominated for it and <laughs> I'm really looking forward to see who would win. I know that Reggie Watts, who was actually at the uh, Primetime Emmys, who was there to probably in support for uh, James Corden, and for hopefully if he would win the uh, Primetime Emmy Award f for a uh, variety talk show. Oh. Oh. For uh, Late Night. And even though he... he James lost to uh, John Oliver. <coughs> um, yeah, if you guys don't know, Reggie Watts has been nominated for a streamy, and it's up and have to do with him uh, performing in virtual reality. Hey. So, that would be cool. I know he's one of the few people I'm hoping he would win. And the other ones who are nominated for different um, categories, I heard that, actually I read, 
from the streaming website that uh, PewDiePie and Markiplier both nominated for separate categories, so don't get mad at me. Hey, um, so I'm hoping that both of them would win as well. It'd be cool. <laughs> um... Uh, the funniest thing I also want to talk about is something that my mother and I were, were watching. And when I heard about, actually, I really heard about the um, passing of Gary Chandler months ago. And I watched it on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. My mom didn't know about this. I was like, when did he die? Was like I said to her, there months ago, and it happened because I remember Jimmy started to perform. Excuse me, that's my dinner. Um, <laughs> and I know that, and even I'm going to try to find the video so you guys could watch it too. Um, but yeah. J yeah, it was, it was like a nice tribute to him, and we, even though it was kind of sad that how it happened. Um, so I don't know. I guess the I don't know the the prime time memories probably were a little bit more better than the. Daytime Emmys because the daytime Emmys were in a disaster. It in nearly almost every year it ends up to become a disaster because they couldn't get it on television, or even worse, they couldn't try to live stream it. It was worse, I would say. I mean. They recorded it, and then they posted it on YouTube, like, a couple of days later, I guess. I don't know. I mean, with today's technology, especially with YouTube having uh, live streaming capabilities, they could have just uh, done it on YouTube. I mean, seriously. But, it was just sort of disappointing. I mean, because I really wanted to see who would win, but didn't get, you know. But primetime memories, eh, I guess it was a little bit better than the daytime memories. If, um, I don't know, most of Jimmy Kimmel's jokes were like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just me, because I prefer to guys like, uh, you know, Jimmy Fallon or... And James Corden, because, you know, they're funny and enjoyable to watch late night, really. And even though some shows I wouldn't have a chance to watch, actually, like, I don't know. I, I know that I can't watch, uh, like, I could not watch, uh, John, last night with, uh, John Oliver. You crouch for your primetime, I mean, win. Um, because it's always on HBO, I believe. I think. Um, unless I'm wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm just saying... But I have a chance to watch some of his stuff on his on the YouTube on the YouTube channel for him, so it's gone crazy. <sighs> I'm gonna make a second video after this, and it will maybe regarding something. I know that if I monetize it. Um, not this video, the second video I'm I'm going to do. I mean, I'm feeling that YouTube will end up demonetizing it, so I won't have that 
monetized because I wanted to explain something going on. But anyway, um, all in all, I guess I really enjoyed it. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. If you like this, you hit that like button. And if you're new onto my channel, subscribe. Hit that red button somewhere. If you don't, I'll just link my YouTube. <sighs> at my, my YouTube channel at there. And uh, thank you for watching. Till the next video. Bye.